Right. Here now. And Peter took him. You better go up the verse above that. At verse 31. Give chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 8 and we're at verse 31. All right. And he began to teach. Begin at verse 30. At verse 30. Mark chapter 8 and verse 30. Uh -huh. And he charged them that they should tell no man of him. Yes. And he began to teach them. You know, it's good to have a teacher. Yes, Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. That way you're just not running around doing something on your own. And it's good to have a teacher. Right. Because if you don't have a teacher, you just go to church and trying to make well enough do. But a teacher come put everything in order. Amen. That way your doing don't be in vain. Amen. And your doing is justified in God's eyes. Right. That's, that's very important that the doing that's done in churches. Viewers, you better ask yourself what you're doing in your church. Is it justified in God's eyes? Or... Is it right in your eyes just because a lot of people go along with it? Right. It doesn't matter because a lot of people go along with something. Mm -hmm. Anything they go on in the church, it must get me good, be justified in God's eyes. All right, come on, son. And he began to teach them. He began to teach them. That the Son of Man must that suffer many things. the Son of things. Man must suffer a whole lot. And be rejected of the elders. <laughs> You know, Jesus was rejected when he was here, right. and he's being rejected now. That's right. Bills and hard head, stubborn folk. How do you reject Jesus? Yeah. If there's one thing, and get me good, if there's one thing in the Bible, one that you fight against, that you know you got to obey, you're fighting Jesus. That's right. Amen. I didn't say if it's something you're struggling with. Right. If it's something you're struggling with and you're striving to come up to it, you're not fighting Jesus. Right. You're asking Jesus to help you overcome. Right. But any time the word of God commands us to do something and we make it up in our mind, we're not going to do it. We're going to lean to our own way. You're fighting Jesus. That's right. Listen. That the son of man must suffer many things. Son of man must suffer many things. And be rejected of the elders. And be rejected of the elders. And of the chief priests. And, and scribes. Listen. Elders reject them. Preachers reject them. Right. Chief priests. Chief priests. There was many of your pastors. They reject the word. That's right. All you got to do is to listen at them fight the truth of God message. You can go on internet and look at the comments under every message that comes from the truth of God. It's swarming who have devils <laughs> fighting, fighting, fighting. And I want to say more over to the truth of God lovers. Don't waste your time That's right. fighting nobody right. that say anything ill about this message. That's right. Nobody. Amen. Amen. I understand that uh, Thomas Smallwood. From the nation of Islam, he started back up. Amen. After that beating he got in 25, and uh, he was dressed in his bicentennial colors, and he had on his blue pants and white jacket and white shirt and bright red bow tie, and, uh, but he didn't know what he was talking about. No. Amen. And he was on the internet howling about Pastor Jennings. He said he loved me and he hollered. My Lord. He admired us and he hollered. Thomas, you might as well stay in your place, Thomas. Amen. Because you can't fight this. No. Yes, I preach Jesus Christ is God. That's right. And I preach there is no other God but him. That's right. I preach that God can anoint anybody's eyes that he choose. And God can allow them to see Spirit. That's right. I preach that, Thomas. That's right. I preach that gladly and loudly. Now, Thomas, you know you shouldn't be on internet bothering the truth of God where you got access to Pastor Jenny. That's right. You know better than that, Thomas. Amen. Or that God, I send you running like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> yeah. I send you running. Hallelujah. Yes, I will. This gospel will beat down anything. Yes, That's why, and listen, we're not a closet champion at all. Yes, all the religions hear us. 
I'm declaring to the world that there's nothing in the world. Amen. That's right. But what God gave us apostles, yeah. and I'm preaching that. Right. And for any man teaching to be right, he better stick with what Jesus gave his apostles. Right. This stuff will shut up heaven. Amen. Thank God it'll shut down earth. Yeah. Till Paul said, if an angel come from heaven and preach any other gospel that differ from what we preach, let the angels be a curse. That's why we tell the world there's only one thing to obey. And this is it. God ain't never told you folk to be Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Rastafarian, Jehovah Witnesses, and all that other trash that come out of hell. God didn't tell you to be Pentecostal and apostolic. God ain't never told none of you to be that. You took it upon yourself. It took matters in your own hands and went and proclaimed to be something that Jesus ain't never told you he was. That's right. Even Jesus said, be holy. That's it. Eh? That's right. Didn't they say something? That's right. Jesus said, be ye holy. Be holy. Amen. I'm, hallelujah. I'm glad that I meant something that I can read. Not made up. Oh, yeah. uh, it's not off the top of the head. Oh, yeah. I can read it. That's it. All right, son, come on. And be rejected of the elders uh -huh. and of the chief priests. Yes. And scribes. And scribes. And be killed. And be killed. And after three days, rise again. And, oh, look at that. Hmm. Jesus told them, well, look, they heard I'm going. I told them I'm going to die and all that. And I'm told them I'm coming back. Right. You know, that didn't settle too well with the people. That's right. All these folks that. Out here in these religions, some of them say their religious leader is God. Where is it? Where is he? Where is your God? Amen. Before I was born, they said Father Divine was God. Hmm. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Gone. Before I was born, there was another false prophet, Daddy Grace. Say he was the reincarnation of Jesus. Yeah. Uh-huh. He gone. He's gone. Amen. Amen. There's a whole lot out here. There was one fella. I think he called his name Ben Yahweh, Ben Yahweh. Yeah. He said he was God. And uh, the FBI had handcuffs on him. <laughs> yeah. Now, that, that God is in prison. Yeah. <laughs> Probably got an orange jumpsuit on. Doing time. Lord. Now, my God can walk through prison walls. Yeah. 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 Yes, he can. Yeah. <laughs> You can't handcuff my God. Yes, FBI can't find him out like that. That's right. He's higher. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Higher than heaven. That's right. Deeper than hell. Broader than the sea and longer than the earth. All you religions that come along and try to say your leader or your priest or your preacher is God, stop lying. That's right. It ain't no flesh is God. No, no. Well, Pastor Jennings, you say Jesus Christ was God. That's right. That's right. But his flesh wasn't. That's right. That flesh never was God. That's right. God don't have a birthday. No. God don't have a mother. No. The spirit that was in Jesus, that was God. That's it. And the flesh was simply created by God to be an example for you hard head stubborn folk. That's it. All right, come on, son. And be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes. Uh -huh. And be killed. Uh -huh. And after three days, rise again. Yes, third day he come back. And he spake that saying openly. Uh -huh. And Peter took him. Peter took him. And began to rebuke him. Wait a minute. Hmm. Peter? 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 Peter. You know, the Lord allows things to happen. That's right. They keep this on record to let us know what to do and what not to do. That's right. How you better stay in place. That's it. And you better not get out of your place. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Listen up there. Now remember, Peter was an apostle. Right. Jesus appointed him. That's right. He was appointed by Jesus. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter because he was an apostle. Mm -hmm. Every apostle better stay in his place. That's it. Yeah? That's right. All right. And Peter took him and began to rebuke and, him. And here, 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 here now, mm -hmm. I want to show you what every, look at what I'm about to tell you. I want to show you what every God sent apostle is when he get out of his place. That's right. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. I want to burn your britches up. Amen. I want to show you what every God sent apostle is when, when he get out of his place. That's right. 
Come on, son. And Peter took him and began to rebuke him. Yes. But when he had turned about, when he turned about, and looked on his disciples, what happened? He rebuked Peter. Amen. <laughs> yes, Peter going to jump on Jesus. Right. <laughs> Jesus turned and looked at who? Looked at Peter. He turned and looked at who? Peter. Read the whole thing. But when he had turned when about, he had turned about, and looked on his disciples, and looked on his disciples, he rebuked. Peter. He was looking at all the disciples, but Peter, he laid Peter out. That's right. He looked at all the disciples. That's right. But Peter was the one that talked like a fool. That's right. Hear me, precious? Amen. Mm -hmm. But when he had turned about. I don't care if you are God calling, God sent. We got a place to stay in. Yeah. I'm called and I'm sent by Jehovah himself. Amen. But I got a place to stay in. That's right. And if I get out of my place, the same thing that he's about to read that Jesus says to Peter, go for me. Amen. 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 I'm not above what's written. That's right. I have to be made according to what's written. Amen. All right, get this now. But when he had turned about and looked when on he his disciples, about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter. He rebuked Peter, saying, "Saying, get thee behind me, Satan." Amen. Amen. What did he call Peter? Amen. Get thee behind me, Satan. Amen. Now, hold it. Peter got out of his place, yeah. and he told Peter, "Get behind him." Right. Why? Why tell him get behind him? Because what Peter done, only Jesus was allowed to do. Right. Because right. Jesus was in the forefront. Right. Peter rebuked Jesus. Right. He done what only Jesus was allowed to do. That's right. So that's like jumping ahead of God. Yeah. And God put him back in place. That's right. You in the wrong place. Right. What do you mean rebuking me? Right. I'm your master teacher. That's right. Don't you get ahead of me. I am the first. Right. I am the last. Right. So Peter, where do you belong? Get thee behind me. Satan. And, and, and what was the character that he demonstrated? Satan. Mm -hmm. Now, that scripture goes for me. Mm. <laughs> and for anybody else, right. that's God called, God sent. And ain't many of them. No. Ain't many of them. No, ain't many of them at all. No. If I get out of scriptural place, mm. right then, mm. I'm of the devil. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. But the people can't call me that. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Only one can call me that is Jesus. That's right. That's right. Because the people can't touch God's anointing. That's right. And they can't do him no harm. Someone right. said, well, Jesus is not here. How he gonna call you that? The moment I get out of place, I'm automatically that. That's right. And when he said, get this behind me, Satan. Satan. That statement is stamped upon every man yeah. that come after the apostles yeah. that God called and sent. Amen. Amen. All right, let's examine some of the men that said they was called and sent and got disrespectful mm. towards Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Let's just trace yeah. some of the statements that was made. In the book of Numbers, chapter 20. Before you get numbers, let's look at it right here in our time. Yes. Right. Amen. And before we was born, certain statements. Amen. Men said, uh, one bishop said that all churches were wrong, but his church. Right. He right. got out of line. Right. He got out of line. That's right. Why did he get out of line? Because Jesus already spoke upon this rock. I build my church. My church. So then a bishop came along later and said all churches are wrong, but my church. Right. Uh, no, no, no. Right then he had to get behind Jesus. That's right. Satan. Right. Get me. Get me. Get me. I want to soak you. Mm -hmm. 
A man of God got to be ever so careful. He can't abuse the authority God gave him. That's right. He got to keep that authority in sync, in check with the word of our God. That's right. If not, God will unleash scripture yeah. to beat him in the subjection. That's right. All right, let's learn. Amen. What is that? And he spake that saying openly. He spake that saying. How? Openly. But still open. Openly. It ain't closed. No. <laughs> it's still open. That's right. One preacher out of Hartsville years ago said that he had a dream from the Lord. And he saw a ladder from earth to heaven. He was in Philadelphia. And on the top of that ladder, there was the number two zero zero five. Right. And he said the Lord told him he's coming the year 2005. Right. And here it is 2017. Mm -hmm. Then the scripture applied to him. Mm -hmm. Get this behind me. Sin. What do you mean? Don't run ahead of God. That's right. That's right. Amen. Don't run ahead of God. Mm -hmm. Stay behind him. Right. Stay in your place. That's right. That's right. Preacher in Bronx, New York, claimed he was God calling God sin. Mm -hmm. He said, everybody got to come into the holy temple. Talking about his organization. What did the Bible say? Get thee behind me, Satan. That's of the devil. Right. No, everybody must be born into the church. That's it. But everybody ain't got to be in your organization. That's right. If Jesus said upon this rock, I'll build my church, he didn't have an organization in mind. Right. He had the church that he started in mind. That's right. Oh, we're going to put everything back in order. Amen. Put it back in order. That's what Elijah done. Amen. When Baal prophets tore down the altar after they sacrificed wouldn't work, Elijah come build the altar back, dug a trench and poured water down there and got 12 stones, put it in order. That's right. It is written, except the Lord build the house. Except the Lord build the house. Your labor in vain. That build it. That's right. It's a scary thing. That's right. And these infidels running around, oh, God called and sent me to preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. And you look at how they're of the, of the devil. God said he hate putting away. That's right. He hate divorce. That's right. And these worthless bums come along in the pulpit tell you, you can divorce. When you preach that, what, what scripture said? Get thee behind me, Satan. Amen. When you preach Trinity, what, what, what you got to be told? Get thee behind me, Satan. When you preach flesh and blood is heaven in heaven, what got to be told? Get thee behind me, Satan. Amen. When you got women preachers, what got to be told to you? Get thee behind me, Satan. When a preacher wife is the first lady, what got to be told to you? Get thee behind me, Satan. Are you listening? Amen. Jesus know what kind of church he wants. That's right. He know what he purpose. That's right. He know what he got to have, mm -hmm. and he know what he want. Amen. So no human, get me, the same preacher that said all church is wrong but his, quoted the scripture that God shall raise up a prophet like me. Like me. And him shall you hear in all things. Mm -hmm. He said he was that prophet. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm that prophet. That the Bible talk about, no, 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 you're not. In the book of Acts. I'm going to show you who that prophet was the Bible talk about. In the book of Acts chapter 3. And we're starting at verse 20. What is it? And he shall send Jesus Christ. Ha. He shall send Jesus Christ. Which before was preached unto which, you. Which before was preached unto you. Whom the heaven must receive. Uh -huh. Until the times of restitution of all things. Yeah. Which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets. Uh -huh. Since the world... Began. Yes. For Moses truly said Moses unto the Father. truly said unto the Father. A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren. Like unto me. Like me. That, like and me. him shall you hear in all things. And whatsoever he shall say unto you. They ain't talking about no bishop of today or yesterday. No. Did you see what I'm telling you? That's right. You got to stay 
behind, behind Jesus. That's right. Now, everyone that's watching and listening, stop trying to run ahead of the scriptures. Amen. Get behind God. Behind. Christ is the head of the church. That's, that's right. right. Don't you go try to run ahead of him and do nothing. Right. But do according to what he said. That's right. I want to take my time and soak it. This is a thinking message. Yes. Amen. Yes. You know, when you take matters in your own hands and do something, you make a mess. Right. Amen. You can't take matters in your own hands to do anything. All these men running around claiming they're God and they're the son of man. I remember some years ago, I was debating a, a Muslim uh, leader who's uh, say he's the leader of the new found nation of Islam, Marvin Muhammad. And he said he's the son of man. My Lord. And I'm told he's still saying he's the son of man. Why do these men want these big titles? Amen. You know how hard it is to be a brother? Yeah. It's hard just being a good follower of God. These crackhead things in a pulpit want to be God. They want to be the son of man. They want to be Christ. Yeah. It's hard enough being a good brother. Amen. Amen. Because Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. That's right. You know how hard it is to keep God's commandments? Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. What did Jesus say? And Peter took him and began to rebuke him. Now, viewers, are you rebuking Jesus? Lord. I want to soak you. Hear me well. Are you rebuking Jesus? Hmm. Are you chastising Jesus? Mm. When you hear something is preached out the word of God, you know it's right, and you're saying it's not right, you're rebuking the word. That's yeah, right. right. You're rebuking it. You're chastising it. Yeah. When you women preachers write me and say, I don't care what the Bible said, I'm going to preach anyway. You're chastising Jesus. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, you, you just see me and... You think you're getting upset with me? I didn't write the Bible. No. That's another lie that's out. They said Pastor Jenner wrote the Bible. <laughs> I don't know what you folks smoking or drinking, <laughs> but you're doing something. You're very delusional. They said, I wrote the Bible. Hello. What kind of time do I have to write the Bible Amen. when I'm exhausted trying to obey the Bible? That's right. Eh? Knowing this first. Listen at this. In the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 and at verse 20. Knowing this first. That no prophecy, no of, the prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came the prophecy not came in old not time in by old the will of man. By, listen, this didn't come by the will of man. People by the will of man. Man will is not in that. No. Only thing is in there is God will. That's it. So man's will is not mixed up in that. Right. And but holy men of God spake. Baptist men of God. Holy men of God. Apostolic men of God. Holy men of God. Lutheran men of God. Holy men of God. Pentecostal men of God. Holy men of God. I'm telling you, none of this stuff that's out here now ever exists in the Bible. That's right. You've been duped. You've been conned. You've been bamboozled. Mm -hmm. One of my brothers from New Orleans was telling me, <laughs> because his sister backslipped, and he was telling me how his sister uh, took, convinced her husband. Her husband is very weak. He's a very weak, frail man in every form. <laughs> and she convinced him that you got to grow a beard like Jesus. Yeah. Hmm. And now he's walking around, won't shave and... You hell-bound infidels. Hmm. Who told you that Jesus even had a beard? That's right. You see, that's Hollywood. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Word of God, he never said Jesus had a beard. No. Didn't even say he had a mustache. No. Didn't even say he had sideburns. Amen. Get thee behind me, Satan. Do what? Get thee behind me, Satan. Tell your wife, get behind you. That's right. Yeah? That's get right. behind you. Get behind me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Now, when you're trying to run ahead of the scriptures, you're trying to implement that which God has already said no to. That's right. And when these preachers come along and say, well, yeah, you can do this. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the other. He's trying to run ahead 
of what's already written. That's right. They have to follow Jesus. If Christ is the head of the church, then no preacher and no church should try to run ahead of what the word of God already said. That's right. Just try to do, strive to do what the word of God said. That's right. What did he tell the apostle? And he spoke that saying openly. And Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter. People write me rebuking me for one cup. Rebuking me. Rebuking you. Why you don't rebuke me? I didn't write the Bible. That's right. The Bible said the cup That's is right. in the Lord's hand and the wine is red. red. You want to rebuke somebody? Jump on God. That's right. Eh? That's right. Now, when you keep trying to force your will, and this is what churches have error. You keep trying to force your will, your way, and then say it's Bible. Yeah. Like junior bishops and junior elders yeah. and calling the women missionaries. And the yeah. Bible called the older women mothers and mothers. the younger sisters. sisters. They, they're trying to push their will and trying to make it Bible. They're trying. But get this behind me. Satan. I want to say to all of you churches, anytime you got a teaching and that teaching contradict the word of God and you keep trying to force that teaching upon the people, yeah. I'm telling you what God told Peter. Mm -hmm. Get thee behind, behind me, Satan. Submit yourself. Right. Right. One scripture said, let every soul be subject to the higher power. Higher powers. Submit yourself. Right. Get that twerking out of your church. That's right. That's right. Submit yourself. Someone say, what? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. They got church twerking now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey, man, I was, uh, I read, I was uh, on YouTube looking at some false churches I ran up. I was watching our telecast, and uh, in the corner, you see other programming. And so there was an article, and I hit it, and there was a man talking of some preacher. Said the Lord guided him to tell all the women of his congregation not to wear no underclothing when you come to church. Don't just, just wear your clothing, but Lord. nothing on under it. My Lord. <laughs> and then you know these dumb, ignorant, hell-deserving church holes followed it? Yes, sir. Another infidel in Africa told the people that the Lord dealing with him and want them to go outside to eat grass. And you had hundreds running out of that church on a lawn eating grass. Adults, boys, I mean a mouth full of grass with the dirt. My Lord. That's the danger of a false prophet. Amen. He's so powerful by the power of the devil. He manipulates you and make a fool because what he gets you to do, he ain't doing. That's right. That's right. That was that fella who died and said the world was going to end in 2012? How camped How camped our captain said the world was going in October 2012, I believe it was, and uh, his followers sold their houses, uh, gave up all their bank accounts. 2012 came and gone. Our captain didn't sell his house. He didn't give up a dollar out of his bank account. Amen. Brothers and sisters and viewers, how long are you going to be this ignorant? Why are you such a sucker for a religious hustle? I also said the wisdom of God. Do you hear this? Hmm. Amen. We want to put everything in order. Yes. Amen. Therefore, say the wisdom of God. I will send them. Whose wisdom talking? The wisdom of God. Whose wisdom is it? The wisdom of God. And what did God's wisdom say? I will send them. Personalize it. Mm -hmm. yes, Let you know ain't nobody else can do this but him. That's right. He take responsibility. That's right. I will send them. Will send them prophets, prophets, and apostles, and apostles. And some of them they shall slay some of and them persecute. They shall do what? Slay and persecute. Well, he gonna send them. That's right. But after God sends the apostle, mm -hmm. then God gives the apostle instructions mm -hmm. by opening up his understanding to the Bible. Right. Viewers, I want all of you to pay attention. Mm -hmm. You wives, that's happy about your husband trial sermon coming up. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, you mothers. That's happy about your son trial sermon coming up. Right. You bishops, that's grooming your alcoholic son My Lord. to take over your club that you call a church. Amen. Or take God, I want to press you good with Bible. That's right. Listen at this. Titus chapter one, and we'll start at verse one. All right. Paul, a servant of God. Paul, 
a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ. That's me. Amen. Amen. I'm an, an apostle, apostle of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm an apostle. That's it. Made by Hallelujah. Made by hands of heaven. That's right. God made me. Yes, sir. Spoke to me many years ago and said, I have a hallelujah. Amen. I have a pit unto thee Amen. this day Amen. to make thee a minister. Yes, I'm a witness. Yes. Oh, no. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I wasn't voted in. I wasn't elected in. That's right. I was made a preacher. That's right. Amen. Ain't someone died and I took over the organization? No. Oh no. Qualifications, you got. I want you to listen at this, Amen. preachers. Amen. The old time bishops used to call false prophets would be <laughs> jack legs. Yeah. All right. Paul, a servant of God. I, I want this to be good if I got any visiting ministers here. Yeah. Because you are just another product of your bishop. Right. Tell a lot of you ministers, you didn't know no better. No. You don't know no better. You don't follow some old fraud. Hmm. And a lot of you following a preacher because he's your relative. Right. He's your uncle. He's your father. He's your brother-in-law. Right. Spirit is thick of them blood. Amen. This ain't no family church. This is God's church. Amen. You preachers that feel as though that uh, you got to groom your son to be the next in charge. God's church things don't work like that. Sometime a preacher died. And then someone just get up and take over. Yeah. And you can tell the one that take over, don't, and God didn't make them. Yeah. Because when God make you, God makes you a builder yes, right. and a teacher. Yeah. Right. If I die, and if God don't raise up somebody after me, everything will fall apart. It will. Amen. Amen. Because God got to give you the same vision that he gave me. That's right. That's right. He got to do it. Got to do it. When Moses died before Mo, look at what God told Joshua. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. That's right. When Moses died, the journey didn't change. Joshua kept pressing towards Canaan. Hallelujah. He kept pressing towards Canaan. If a man of God died and another man come behind him and yet take the church off route, that man is a false prophet. Amen. Glory to God. He got to stay on route. He got to stay on the journey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you getting this? What he said? Paul, a servant of God. This is the first chapter of the book of Titus. Titus chapter 1 and verse 1. This is the qualifications of an elder. Mm -hmm. Paul, a servant of God. Paul, a servant of God. And an apostle of Jesus Christ. An apostle is God called, God sent, God anointed, God instructed, God made. That's it. God authorized. Mm -hmm. He have authority from authority to represent authority. That's right. He's very analytical. And his divine ability to break down scriptures. Mm -hmm. Able to break down hard scriptures. Yes. By the moving and the ability of the Holy One. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What is that? Paul, an apostle of oh, Jesus Christ. an apostle of Jesus Christ. According to the faith of God's elect. According to the faith of God's elect. And the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness. When you acknowledge the truth, what is it? Which is after godliness. Anyone that acknowledges the truth, you're after godliness. That's right. Even if it hurts you. Yeah. Acknowledge it anyway. That's it. All right, son. In hope of eternal life. Which God that cannot lie? Promised before the world began. Now how is God getting his word over? But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. How is God getting his word over? Through preaching. Viewers and you that are here, that's why you can't find nothing on the internet, on radio, or on television. Right. Nothing. Nothing. But a bunch of pulpit fakers and frauds and money lovers. That's right. These preachers are some of the biggest drug dealers in the world. Yeah. If li listen, lie is like a drug. Yeah. And brother, them fellas are selling lies and people are flocking to it. Amen. They don't care about your soul. Amen. Look at the danger of a false prophet. You trust them. You work faithful. Yeah. Help build churches and community centers and schools. Yeah. You are trusting this fellow with your soul. Oh, yeah. Teaching does two things. It either will get you to God now and in eternity, or it will send you to our everlasting hell. That's right. Amen. Viewer, how much do you trust your preacher? Amen. 
and what he's telling you. How much do you trust your preacher and what he's teaching? Amen. You know what make a false prophet bamboozle the people so well? Because the people are ignorant of the Bible themselves. That's right. And when you don't know the Bible, that empowers the devil's preacher to trick you, con you, lie to you. Amen. Anytime a man will have grown people out on somebody's lawn eating grass my Lord, my like Lord. cows and sheep my Lord. and convince them it's the will of God. My Lord. I heard of a case in the 1970s where a false prophet in South Philadelphia I was told this I don't know dropped his clothes in the pulpit and spilt his feces my Lord, my Lord. And then threw it at the congregation. My Lord, my Lord. And people sit right there. Mm. 